Hello and welcome back to Steam with Steve. Today we're going to go through something that I'm very passionate about, which is my fun integer facts worksheet generator. Now this is a program I've developed in Excel. Um, it's very simple, but it's very, very effective. It basically teaches students how to do their add, subtract, multiply and divide with positive and negative numbers, but it gives them a framework where they have to try and do it as fast as possible. So let's jump on in so you can see what I'm talking about. So this is what the fun facts, um, fun integer facts worksheet looks like. And basically you'll see that there's one to 11 questions here, then another 11 and then another 11. Now this is all randomly generated. And this is what we do each week to incre increase our skills. So we understand how, what the difference between add, subtract, multiply and divide is. Now, obviously you can use a calculator for these type of questions. But if you have to type in negative six times negative six press equals and then have to look at it, it's going to take you probably four, three to five seconds roughly. Whereas if you can just quickly do it at pace, um, your, your skills go through the roof. And then that also makes gives a bit more um, encouragement to the student because they go, oh, wow, I'm actually getting this. And it's one of those skills that if you work on it, you will get bigger and better at it. Now, my advice with this is basically to time it for three minutes and give students up to three minutes to do it. And if they get zero right, that is awesome because there is the level playing ground. So that's where they're currently at. And it took them three minutes to get none right. So we're gonna work on that and try and get bigger and better each time. So um, just a little bit of a run through of this worksheet. So this is the printout. So this will literally print out exactly the sheet that the students will get a copy of. I then have this one here, just in case I can't get to the printer for whatever reason, and it allows you to have the on-screen version of it. And then the last one is the on-screen with the answers. So students can see very clearly what was the answer for each question. Ah, cool. The last um, spreadsheet, which is the important one, is the control spreadsheet. Now, this is where all the magic happens. Now, you don't have to do any coding. Literally, if you just enable the macros when you open this program, you just click on generate. And it will generate as many questions as you can think of. And then that's an infinite amount of worksheets. You pretty much at the tip of your fingers, which is kind of cool. The other thing, if you want to play with it, and I don't recommend it if you don't want to, but it's kind of cool, is if you go under settings, you can change around the different numbers. So for example, if I was introducing multiplying um, positive and negative numbers, I might just make that 50% multiply, 50% divide. And instead of going all the way up to 12, I might only go up to four and down to negative four for both of these. So now when I save this and generate, the numbers are going to be a little bit smaller and simpler, but then Elite allows the students to learn and master that skill set. You can then also come back up here if you want to learn just fixed times tables. So if the students were learning just their sevens, for example, I think that was the example I was doing with some of my students before, you could go through and tickle the boxes for the ones that you want to learn, save and exit, click generate. And then there's a quick little seven times table generator um, with the added multiplying and dividing, which is really good at um, getting that skill up. So to show you how this works in practice, you would literally, my challenge to my students is to do 25, 25, 25. And we would go um, from 20 to negative 20, 20 to negative 20, 12 down to let's go negative 12. And then over here with divide, same thing, we'll go 12 negative 12. Awesome. So we're going to save that and then just generate a worksheet. Let's go keep going. That looks pretty cool. Cool. So to show you how that works, basically I would have that printout in front of all the students. I give them a copy and then basically give them a countdown three, two, one. And like I said, if they get zero right and it takes three minutes, that's awesome. That's their first go. We now know where that we're at and we can identify some things that we want to work on next time. So to show you how quick it is to sort of fill in, I don't normally do it this way, but just to show you to simulate it, basically I would press play and then off I would go down here. So that would be negative three, then negative two, negative 18, 30, negative 24, negative 11, seven, 21, 13, it's a little bit harder, uh, negative uh, 35, negative uh, 35 again, then up here to 12, negative 27, negative 11, 5, 99, negative 1, 0, 7, 0, uh, negative 28, 9, 
and up here we'll go negative 15 negative 25 36 6 negative 17 negative 36 negative 18 11 negative uh, sorry 40 negative 24 and then 9 Whoop. so that's a little bit harder typing it in personally I, I prefer to write it out because you'll get a lot faster uh, my record personally at the moment is about 36 um 36 seconds which is pretty cool um i've challenged my students to try and beat that which hopefully one of them will and yeah that's basically the general gist so like i said usually i would use the printout version of this get them to write so they physically feel that because that's what all our exams in math is um, still at the moment and yeah hopefully that's giving you some cool little insights mm -hmm. So for me, that's it. Um, if you do have any questions, please give it um, put in the comments down below. Give us a like and subscribe as it does help with the YouTube algorithm. You'll find a copy of this um, Excel sheet within uh, the, the comments down below. And yeah, ho hopefully that will increase your directed numbers and therefore make your algebra skills go through the roof. Thank you again for watching and see you next time on Steam with Steve. Adios.